Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here. There are millions of people worldwide who have that urge to where they have to crack their neck. They grab their neck and they just crack it and crack it the other way. And they become very creative on making those popping sounds. But if you're that unlucky person, that small percentage of people, there can be danger to this. Because when you crack your neck, there is always rotation involved. If you look at the cervical vertebrae, these discs come at the level where the nerves come out of. These nerves come out at what we call the intervertebral foramen, the holes. So when we twist our neck, these areas where the nerves come out become narrowed. Not only can you cause more compression, but in this area, on both sides of the neck, we have the vertebral artery. So while rotating and twisting the neck, the force in that vertebral artery can tear. Or if there is clotting involved, that clot can travel to the brain. And when the brain does not receive its oxygen, we call that a stroke. So those popping sounds like that, those are gases being released from the joints. And those gases are being released from all the joints within our body. And that goes along with the spine as well. There are joints between the vertebrae. And when we rotate it or put the vertebrae past its limit, we release gases. And that popping sound is nothing more than nitrogen and carbon dioxide being released. So when your muscles become tight in your neck area, it starts to ache. And then you want to stimulate it by cracking your neck. But there is a safe way by moving the neck in certain planes without rotation. And that's what I'm going to show you. Looking at this chart, there are many muscles within our neck, but there are six specific muscles that attach into the joints of the spine. The levator scapula, the sternocleidomastoid or SCM, trapezius, erector spinae, deep cervical flexors, and our suboccipital muscles. So here is the answer to safely stretch those muscles that are attaching to those vertebrae. Not to put any rotation into the neck and allow those muscles to naturally open the joints to release those gases. Not only will you feel the difference, but your body will show you the difference. So there are two stretches on both sides of the neck that you want to perform. I will do the right first. Take the left shoulder, push it down like you're grabbing something heavy from the floor. Keep the shoulder down. Stick the whole chest out as that left shoulder is downwards. Take your right hand. Pull it over to the right. Keep pulling it. Stick the chest out. You'll feel movement in there. Many of you will feel movement. And just keep coming over, dropping that left shoulder. Tugging those muscles, taking the tension out. Good. And you'll go down and forward. Keep that left shoulder down. Go down and forward. And come back to the right again. And you'll do that a few times as that left shoulder is going down, sticking the chest out. That's going to take all the tension out of those neck muscles. Now when we stretch the right side of the neck, right shoulder down, stick the chest out, keep it out. Left hand over the head, pull it over. Okay, come back and pull it over again. A lot of you will feel a little clicking and popping in there. Those are gases. And then you'll go down and forward. Keep that shoulder down and back. Stick that chest out. So when taking the tension out of the muscles and then stretching it to the side and forward on both sides, we are naturally opening up those locked joints. If needed, they will release and you will hear a popping sound or a clicking sound, but it's safe and it's very effective. If you experience any significant pain or radiation of pain, then this technique is not for you. Not only will this increase your range of motion in your neck, but it will prevent lots of other problems. Please share this video with your friends and family. Leave your comments below, and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.